Prisons are closed settings. We often forget about those who live and work there. How we treat persons who are detained is very important, though. It mirrors our understanding of safety, justice, and human dignity for all members of our societies, including those in conflict with the law. The United Nations have always paid attention to the plight of prisoners. Already back in 1955, UN member states agreed to the standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners. But this was a long time ago, and a lot has happened since. In 2015, following four years of negotiations among diplomats and prison experts from all over the world, the UN General Assembly unanimously adopted an update version of the rules now known as the Nelson Mandela Rules. Today, these rules represent the universally acknowledged blueprint for prison management in the 21st century. They outline minimum prison conditions, provide guidance, and set clear benchmarks for prison staff on how to ensure safety, security, and the humane treatment of prisoners. Let's remind ourselves that the closed environment of prisons creates vulnerabilities and a potential risk of abuse. The Nelson Mandela rules therefore establish important safeguards for prisoners. For example, regular inspections of prisons by independent bodies must take place, including unrestricted access to all prisoners and the possibility to talk to them in full confidentiality. Furthermore, the Nelson Mandela rules require that prisoners can engage in constructive activities and programs and that they can be in continued contact with their families and friends, including through regular visits. Finally, let's also not forget the important work of prison staff, a demanding profession that is often under-recognized. The Nelson Mandela rules give detailed guidance for tailored training for prison officers and recognize their work as a social service of great importance. As the custodian of the Nelson Mandela rules, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime champions the promotion of the rules worldwide. Its guidance material and technical assistance projects with prison and correctional services across the globe all aim at turning the Nelson Mandela rules into actual practice for the benefit of prisoners, prison staff, and our societies at large. To learn more about the Nelson Mandela rules, visit our website and join our efforts to leave no one behind.